In this video, I'm going to be showing you a full step-by-step -step tutorial on Boxum, the best way to list and ship your procs to Amazon FB, as well as know all your numbers with the Boxum analytics and profit tracking. I'm going to take you from beginner to expert in this tutorial and show you a bunch of new features so you can manage your business and shipping the right way, even if you're a complete beginner starting from scratch. So to start off, guys, what actually is Boxum? So Boxum is what it says right here. It's a way to move faster, ship smarter, and track everything. So it's for listing, easier and quicker, Amazon FBA shipments, and knowing all your profit and analytics using the analytics features in Boxum, which show you your different inventory numbers, your profit numbers, and actually helps you list and ship easier right here. So Boxum costs $50 a month, but there is a full two-week free trial here that connects right into your Amazon account right here. So I highly recommend testing it out after you watch this full tutorial here, and you'll quickly see it's significantly easier than Amazon Seller Central in terms of listing and shipping. The analytics features are far more advanced than anything else out there, and it's really one of a kind on the market in terms of listing listing, shipping, analytics, and you'll see that very quickly if you watch this whole guide. So when you initially get Boxum, it's going to take a couple hours to actually sync into your Amazon account. But once it's actually there, the nice thing is you can do the entire listing and shipping process in Boxum. There's nothing required of you in Amazon Seller Central for FBA. So Boxum is for listing merchant filled products as well as listing and shipping FBA products. When you buy shipping for your merchant filled orders, you do have to do that through Amazon Seller Central because there's a lot of customer data in that but for listing products FBM where you ship it directly to the customer you do that in Boxum and for listing and shipping products in bulk to Amazon FBA you do that in Boxum as well and then there's all the analytics features too so we can see the dashboard right here as well as the inventory page where we actually list our products on Amazon right here through Boxum and then the shipments page analytics settings which connect directly into your printer and everything like that here so to start off say we want to create an Amazon FBA shipment the first step if it's a new product on our Amazon account is actually going to list FBA right here and actually listing our products on Amazon's platform you can start out searching by product name SKU F and SKU ASIN literally anything here so we can type in like Lego here we can see the lightning quick search and then we would just create a new SKU if we have one of these products here but just for sake of example, I'm going to use two popular auto one gate products. So I'm going to go over and take this ASIN from seller amp right here. Then we can go ahead and just click new SKU. We can see the sales rank, the title, the ASIN of this product right here. And now we just want to go here and we'd see the list price. So when you're actually initially listing your stuff, FBA, don't worry about the pricing right here. In general, though, for pricing guidelines for newer sellers, if you're listing products FBM, just match the current buy box price that you see. And if you're listing products at FBA, you wanna start out initially well above the buy box. We'll do that when we actually add this product to the shipment here. And then once the listing's fully checked in, then you match the buy box or drag it up a little bit, see if you can move that buy box up as well. Once your inventory is fully checked in, showing those beautiful quick prime delivery dates right here. We wanna add in our buy cost. So we paid like $14.25 right here. And then this is really important. You wanna add in your supplier as well. That creates this custom ski right here that obviously the customer doesn't see but it shows the supplier and the buy cost right here which is helpful for boxum analytics as well in terms of profit tracking then we want to go ahead and put date purchased as well right here so now we can see we're telling boxum the buy cost the supplier the date purchase etc so the analytics tool can go to work in terms of showing us our best products best profitable SKUs, best categories, et cetera, et cetera, right there. Profit overview right here, which is in the analytics features and dashboards right there. And now, you know, if there was an expiration date, we'd have to add that in. We'd see obviously there's not because it's a shirt right here. So we can just go ahead and hit add listing right here. And then you can do literally multiple products per batch. We can go ahead and grab this item right here as well. So we'll go ahead and plug that in right here. New SKU, same deal right here. So we paid like 15 bucks for this. Supplier, JCPenney right there. Date purchase, we'll go ahead and plug that in too as well. Then we'll go ahead and hit add listing right here. And now once we have a batch right here, we just want to go ahead and hit submit FBA listings right here. And it's going to take like 15 to 30 minutes for this to actually go active right here. And then once it is, we're going to go over to shipments and create a shipment by adding these two SKUs or other SKUs if we were replenishing items as well to that shipment right there. So I'll check in with you guys once these are active. All right, guys, so now we can see 10 minutes or so later, these listings are now active in our inventory. So now we just wanna go over to shipments and create shipment to actually create a shipment, add these procs to it and go through the entire labeling and shipment process. There's some really cool features that you need to just box. So I'm super excited to share with you guys. So let's jump in and create a shipment. All right, guys, so we can see select Amazon right here, a little Easter egg on that. We can go ahead and create a new Amazon FBA shipment right here. Shipment name, we'll call it Boxum Tutorial video 
right here, this is private. So you can name whatever you want, obviously. Right here, fulfillment type FBA. If we were to do FBM, we would just go ahead and inventory list FBM, then it'd be live immediately right there. But for FBA, we actually have to go through the FBA shipment process right there. Shipping and origin right here. So this is not the UPS address you're dropping off at. This is your address right here that you're shipping it out from. Amazon knows how prep centers and employees, and you might be making shipments on vacation, everything like here. So you can easily edit these right here as well. Shipping method, SPD, small parcel delivery, as well as box contents, to barcodes on the box and professional plan. I'm a big fan of right there as well. So we can go ahead and do all five options here. I do want to let you know that if, if you have five identical boxes, you can do optimized placements, but optimized placements, you want to use box and provided not 2D barcodes um, right there. So if you have five identical boxes and you want to nicely spread them out and you do a non 2D barcode shipment and box them for that, you can get optimized placement and avoid those placement fees right there. So we just want to go ahead and hit create shipment right here. And now we just want to go ahead and grab those SKUs once again right here and type these in. So now we can actually add this to the shipment and save the amount of quantity we have. So clicking plus right here, we can go ahead and add these in right here. We can see our list price right here, and then our buy cost right here. So here's for FBA, where we actually do want to set pricing right here. So we can just set, you know, a good a bit, at least 10% or so above the buy box or lowest price right there. Buy cost right here, then quantity. So we can go ahead and add that in. Supplier, date purchase, we already have those in there as well right here. Date purchase, boom. Then we can see expiration day right here. So prep category, prep owner, label owner. I recommend just matching these right here. Occasionally, it'll say you don't need FNC labels for a specific product. I still recommend printing that out though, even if you put here uh, label owner being no label needed right here, I still recommend going and pr printing them out separately in SAR Central. That's only at a small minority of products right here. So now we can go ahead and add this product to shipment right here as well, right? And then we can go ahead and so copying this over here, we can go ahead and plug this guy in. We'll do 10 units of these two as well right here. Boom, 10 units right there. Then we can go ahead and do supplier right there as well. Date purchase. We want to do pricing too. So we'll go to offers. We'll place this guy significantly above the buy box right there. Then once inventory actually fully checks in and we show available with good prime delivery dates, then we want to go ahead and match the buy box right there. So we can go ahead here, boom, pop this in, add a shipment right here. And then we can see our estimated profit here. So this shipment here, we would make an ROI of 92%, margin of 29%, total revenue, cost of goods, et cetera. So we can see a nice profit breakdown as you go ahead and create those shipments right here. And now we'll go ahead and continue right here, submit procs, then it'll be a couple minutes as it loads. We'll move into step two prep and box them where we'll do all the labeling, boxing, et cetera right here. All right, guys, so we can see here in step two, prep and box them. So this is where we want to do all the boxes and the labeling. I recommend getting boxes from either Walmart or Uline or Home Depot, honestly, like you can use any box. You can even reuse or online arbitrage purchase boxes for FBA, always want to use as little boxes as possible. So one bigger box better than two smaller boxes, just cost effectively wise. Then we also want to get a poly bag variety pack from Amazon and then Amazon FBA SKU labels from amazon.com too, too. You can just buy those on there. And then the shipping labels that go on the outside of the box, you can get actually free from the UPS website. I think they're four and a quarter by five and a half right there. So the little small SKU labels go on each product or poly bag. And then the big box labels go on the outside of the box right there. We'll show them as we go right here. So say just for this example, we'll do two boxes right here. We also recently added where you can scan and pack too. So if you want to connect a Bluetooth scanner, you can scan and pack right here as well. So we can see those. We can just enable scanner, print FTQ upon scan right there. But say for just for this example, we'll do another box right here, create another box right here. We can go ahead and bulk edit these. So say just for this example, there's smaller boxes right here. So we need 10 by 10 by eight right there. So we can see going ahead, we'll do the same thing on this guy right here, 10 by 10 by eight with 10 pounds right here. Boom, pop that in right here. Right and we can see. Wait, boom, update that guy right there. So now we can go to select all boxes here. And the cool thing is you can automatically just split them across the boxes right here by popping that in right here and popping that in right there. And then those automatically add. We can see all of these units are allocated to the boxes right here as well. Then we can go ahead and click print FN SKUs right here. Or this was a feature a bunch of people asked for. We could just go to print and we can print all, all the FN SKUs for the entire shipment right here as well. See, there, see these are those little labels that go on, over the barcode on a specific product. If it doesn't require poly bagging or on the outside of the poly bag right there. Always make sure when you're prepping procs that if it has a suggested retail sticker, you close you cover that up with the blank Evan ski or just like Sharpie over it, or just go ahead and overall remove it right here. Cause obviously customers are going to get mad if they buy a proc for 60 and has a Walmart label for 35 on it 
right there. So we can see those FN SKUs as well right here. There's also some cool features too. We can see connecting to printer right here and then our other labels too. So this is really cool and unique to Boxum. We can use sold as a set stickers, suffocation warnings, fragile warnings, or custom ones right here. So like this side up right here. So a lot of people are actually using this for just organizing their FBM products as well as just for FBM orders and everything too. So currently as it stands, this is just in the print section on FBA shipments, but we are going to add this to a separate part of the application as well. So you can print these labels easily, even if just for talking about like FBM orders and stuff in terms of fragile, this side up, et cetera, right there. So we can see printed those F and SKU labels right here. All the products are assigned to boxes right here as well. We can do bulk assign right here. Assign all skis. We already did that though right here as well. And that's how that works right here. And now we just want to go ahead and continue on. So now all the products are in the boxes. They're labeled, they're skewed, everything's good to go right there. Then we just wanna go ahead and hit continue right here. Now we're gonna move on to step three right here, confirm packing groups where we can go ahead and add the shipping label and the FBA box label to the outside of the boxes. So guys, the last step right here is confirming shipments and then printing shipping labels right here. So we can see the three different options box and gives right here. Number one is going to Stockton, California, which is the most expensive. Number two is going to Clarksville, Tennessee. And then the cheapest one is going to Hagerstown, Maryland right here. Worried about $1 per pound right here for a 20 pound shipment costing 20 one dollars right here which is definitely above where it'll typically be but this is just a test shim and these boxes wouldn't be full with just 10 units in each box right here we'd want those more full to cut down that per pound shipping rate right here you just always want to choose the cheapest one right so we got hagerstown maryland right here for 20 bucks total 10 bucks box right here, which is actually pretty cheap honestly too but we could definitely fill those boxes up better right here we'll confirm placement option accept shipping charge right here and move on to print those labels all right guys so finishing up right here we can see the total profit on the shipment right here all the numbers and metrics we can go ahead and print the FTs use once again. You can also go here to print box labels, but what you really want to do is just go down here and print UPS and FBA box labels right here and knock them all out in one. So these both, this being the FBA box label, the 2D bark over here goes on the outside of the box and the shipping label goes on the outside of the box right next to it right there. So nice and easy. And now the entire shipment process is done. We can print the labels, we can clone the shipment, we can track the shipments. Rare, nothing's required of us in Seller Central. It's all done through Boxum right here. So once you have those FBA box labels and shipping labels, gone ahead and add to the boxes you're good to go nothing else needed of you so that's the entire boxum listing and shipping process we also have the boxum analytics which show you a really nice profit overview as well as your best products best SKUs, as well as your best categories and we also have a bunch of cool features coming soon too as well you guys saw a crazy easter egg earlier in this video on a coming soon boxum feature as well so boxum is a place to be for listing shipping and analytics for your amazon fba business even if you're a complete beginner, it's $50 a month, but there's a two week free trial. You can go ahead and try out completely free. I'll leave a link down below in the description to that. If you guys want personalized one on one mentorship directly from me to start, scale, and grow your Amazon business the right way, I'll leave a link down below to that in the description as well. And then, in terms of actually getting your first couple of products listed, the best way to do that is via Auto Ungate ASINs. So, I'll leave a link right here for my full profitable Auto Ungate product source tutorial. So, check that out right after this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Let me know any questions down below. Make sure to subscribe for more. Love you guys. Have a good one.